All right, everyone, let's talk about your mock examination right now. Obviously, we are going to make a series of video on the explanation of our mock examination and it won't be public, right? So I would say, uh, as you already received the link, right? Uh, it's not meant to be public. So uh, just use the link to get into our future videos, okay? Now, let's get started. Now, uh, for this video, we are going to look at the microeconomics uh, questions only, right? For the macroeconomics and then the paper two, we are going to move on to the second and third video and so on. Okay. Well, now first, MC question one. Now, other things being constant. Now, here we are talking about not counting other things. The only thing changing is that by making wearing seat belts a statutory requirement. Okay. Let's see what happens to the number of traffic accidents. Okay. Now, here, now let's think about it. Now, the thing is, for those who are law abiding, now think about it. Before the legislation, they're going to wear seatbelt. Okay. Now, after the legislation, they are also going to wear. So for them, there is no change in anything. Now, but we are talking about, about for the non abiding. Now, before the legislation, right? The cost of not wearing the seatbelt is that they may injure themselves, right? What about after the legislation? Now, after the legislation, what happened is that if they do not wear seatbelt, yes, they're going to injure themselves. But further to that, they're going to pay the legal cost. What does that mean? It means that the cost increased. Now, therefore, according to the law of demand, the higher the cost, the lower the quantity demanded they would do, right? So, the answer would be D because uh, it would be B because the cost for non-abiding drivers would increase. Now, I know some of you were thinking, hey, what about if we have this law, right? Then the number of people wearing seatbelts should increase, right? If they wear seatbelts, then people would get more excited because they know the cost is lower, right? So they're going to drive faster. Now, the thing is, we have mentioned other things being constant here, right? So absolutely, we are talking about the number of abiding and non-abiding drivers would remain the same. Okay, Homa. So sometimes you need to look at the focus of the question in order to answer the question. You cannot recite the answer. No, you cannot. Okay, Homa. Now, which of the following statement is correct? Let's see, right? Without scarcity, there will be no economic good. Now, remember what is economic good? It refers to goods that the quantity not enough to satisfy or wants. Hola. If there is no scarcity, meaning everything will be enough to satisfy wants. Scarcity is all the resources not enough to satisfy all wants. Hola. So without scarcity, actually everything would become free good or bad. There would be no economic good. Yes. So A is the answer. Now what about B, C and B, C and D, right? Now B. Without choices, there would be no free good. Now, let me give you one example. Now, what about, you think about air. You think about air in our daily life. You don't have a choice. You need to breathe in to live. You don't quite have a choice, but you still have free goods, as in air. Now, remember, free good just refers to quantity enough to satisfy all wants. It talks about nothing about choices. So, they are not related. C. People prefer economic good to free good. Now, this one, I've talked about it a lot of times. They are unrelated. Now, therefore, B, C, and obviously D is not correct. All right. 
Moving on. Now, which of the following statement is a positive statement? Now, remember, positive statements refers to statements that are refutable by fact. Okay, 係嘛？可以用事實推翻嘅。So we need a sentence that involves now meaning. What does that mean? It means no value judgment. Okay, no value judgment. 好嘛？好啦，我哋望望啦。The first one, the government should continue. Okay, I think you know this dies because this is a value judgment. 死咗啦！呢个唔使问啦，好嘛？嗱 ，What about two? As COVID nineteen continues to prevail in Hong Kong, okay, the unemployment rate would rise to this percentage by this time, right? Now, is it refutable by fact? Yes, you can check it. Against facts, using unemployment rate. 到时你七月 check 下个 unemployment rate， 咪知啱唔啱咯。Okay, so this is refutable by facts. Answer is two. Now, but number three is the difficult one. Okay, history is the study of past events that happen in human society. Remember, this is a definition. 哇，打紧啲咩啊 ？This is a definition. When we are talking about definition, it must be true. What does it mean by it must be true? Meaning, it cannot be refuted by facts. 呢人做出嚟噶呢个定义得唔得 ？It must be correct. Okay, you cannot refute it. Another example of definition would be one plus one equals to two. 一加等于二咯，一加等于二系冇得推翻噶。Okay, this must be true. Or another economic example would be, let's say here, when the percentage change in QD is larger than percentage change in price. Okay. It is an elastic demand. 係咩？因為喂，誒 percentage change in QD 大過 percentage change in P 就係 elastic 啦。This is non-refutable because by by definition, this must be elastic. 一定噶，得唔得？嗱，所以呢啲記住啦，逢親嘅定義 ，whenever is definition, no. It is not a positive statement. It is also not a normative statement. Both of them are not. It's called tautology. But let's not go into that. Okay, it's out of syllabus. Uh, I don't know whether it's out of syllabus or not, but I only know that it is not refutable by facts. I should put it that way. Okay, 好嘛，第四条啦。Now, which of the following statement about interest is true? Okay. Now, first of all, remember, interest is the trade off. Between two things, we call it present consumption versus future consumption or delayed consumption. Right? 好啦，望望第一个啦。Without money, interest does not exist. 嗱，呢个应该放 four 都识答噶啦，系咪啊 ？Without money, as long as there is some compensation or some trade off, it would be interest. Okay, 好嘛？好啦 ，B and C. B is、uh, interest is the compensation to lenders. Yes, this is true. For what? No, for lender, it is for delayed consumption. 我借俾你系我 delay 咗吗 ？Same here. It is a cause for earlier consumption. 我借嗰个 I'm the borrower. I want it earlier, right? So B and C, because of these two words, they are wrong. Okay, 好嘛，好啦。The existence of interest implies scarcity. Yes, without think about without scarcity. Okay, if no scarcity, then you can have both present and future consumption. 點解要揀啊？冇 scarcity 唔使揀嘅喎。You can have both present and future. Then if you can have both. You don't need any trade off. Why do you need trade off? You can't, right? Okay. You need trade off because you cannot have both. Okay. So without scarcity, there will be nothing. There will be no interest. 
o、okay, k 好嘛？好啦，嗱呢个当温书啦，好嘛？嗱 ，number five。Canteens in school are usually outsourced to private catering companies, right? To the successful bidders, they remember they do not have. 好嘛，你记住啦。So first of all, what are PPLs? Remember, PPLs refers to the exclusive right to use, and then the exclusive right to derive income, which will be rents in all cases. And finally. Transfer the rights. 好嘛？那 canteen, yes, they have. 啊，串错字先。They have the exclusive right to use. No problem, 好嘛 ？Canteen 系可以用嘅。But can they rent out the canteen to the others? No, only the school can. And obviously, they cannot transfer the rights of the canteen to the others. Now, therefore, they do not have because they lack the exclusive right to transfer rights. OK， 好嘛，記住 canteen 係租嘅，佢冇 PPL 嘅。OK， no full bundle of PPL。OK， 好啦，下一條啦。嗱，條溪 to to fight COVID-19， right？ The Hong Kong government has decided to introduce a vaccine from these two Sinovac and Biotech， right？ 好啦 ，the first batch to receive the、uh, vaccination will be here。Now this is an example of what Basic economic questions, right? Now, first of all, Sinovac and Biotech. Now, this is a question of what to produce, right? Well, the first batch received would be people aged something. When you talk about people, we are talking about for whom to produce, right? Now, therefore, the answer is just one and three. Okay, now this is not difficult. Well, now next one. Now we move on to、uh, chapter three. Now, all right. The following table shows some characteristics of two different firms in Hong Kong. All right, we're talking about、uh, types of ownership. Ah, right? Okay. Now, firm A and firm B, three and ten. Now, obviously, there is no sole proprietorship, right? All right. Then, how do we determine what kind of firms they are, right? Now, let's look at the second column: disclosure of financial information. Okay, only to the owners. Now. Here, this is not useful. Only to the owners, this is not useful. We only know this is not a public limited company. What about private limited company or、uh, partnership? No, no conclusion. But here, this is useful to the public. We know this must be a public limited company. 一定系 public limited company 噶。Okay, because only public limited company would need to disclose information to the public. Okay, 好嘛，好啦，嗱 ，then let let's look at a、uh, a、uh, column three. 嗱 ，firm A, it is not possible to transfer ownership. That means this is actually a partnership. 係嘛 ？Because if it is a private limited company, you just transfer the share and you can transfer ownership, but not in a partnership. Okay, 好嘛 ？Partnership, no continuity, cannot transfer ownership. 好啦，我哋對比下啦。Okay, now both owners of firm A and firm B face limited liabilities. No, only public limited company owners would face limited liabilities. Okay, 好嘛？ Now B, firm A faces higher business risk. Now remember, business risk. You have no conclusion as always. 唔关事噶 It has nothing to do with the、uh, with the form of ownership. No. Okay, 好嘛好啦 As C, firm B necessarily face higher tax rate than firm A. This used to be correct. Unfortunately, remember nowadays, for limited company, the first two million of revenue is actually subjected to eight point two five percent of profit tax only. 头二百万一半啊。Now versus a partnership, okay, a partnership, it pays salary tax. Salary tax, you know, right? From two percent to seventeen percent. So it is entirely possible that a small public limited company, okay, a small public limited company, may have a higher ta lower tax rate than a partnership. It is entirely possible. Okay, 好吗 Answer D. 
D. Firm A has a simpler setup procedure than firm B. Okay, we are very sure about this answer. For C, we are not quite sure. Okay, 好嘛，嗱，記住啊，呢個係上年、前年應該 ，I think it should be two years ago. They changed the tax system. Okay, now profit tax no longer a, pro, a, a proportional tax, but a progressive tax nowadays. Okay, 好嘛，好啦，嗱。This one, number eight, the polyu has successfully made a reusable cloth as surgical mask. Can I wear a lap by lap my bow? Am I? These surgical masks. I'm asking the masks themselves. 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 These masks are producing goods if they are used in medical schools for to train would-be doctors. Yes, this is the answer. Very standard, right? For education purpose, so it is engaging in a production, right? Come on, this is easy. Okay, B. Free goods if they are distributed to elderly free of charge. This is not difficult. You can see it yourself. This is for those of you who are from X2 and X3. You understand. Right, 好嘛，好啦。C, public good. If Poly U publicly share the technology to produce these masks, 嗱就我頭先講樣嘢啦。I'm asking the masks themselves. I'm not asking the technology. Now remember, the mask because the mask they are rivalrous. And excludable in consumption. Wait, I'm using it. Can I use it for a mask? No. Okay. No. This is very. This is very dangerous. Don't use the same mask as the other. 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 Don't use the same mask as the The technology itself is non-rivalrous and non-excludable in consumption. You can use the technology together. When I'm making the mask using the technology, you can also make make the mask, make masks using the same technology. No problem, right? But the masks themselves are private goods. Okay. 好嘛 ，private goods because only Polyu is able to produce these masks. No, this is not how you explain. It is a private goods, but it is not because only Polyu able to produce these masks. Even everyone can produce these masks, right? Those、uh, these masks would also be private goods because concurrent consumption is not possible. Okay, 好嘛，跟住啦，唔可以一齐用同一个 mask。好啦 ，OK， now next question. Factory A and Factory B. Now, first of all, remember productivity refers to total output divided by the total man hour. 唔知大家記唔記得啦 ？Okay. Now, so here I've given you four columns. Only two of them are relevant. 只有兩個係關事嘅。Okay. Now, remember by this formula, we know productivity will be column one. Divided by column three, okay, 好嘛 So we know factory A, the productivity will be one. For factory B, the productivity will be less than one. 好啦 Now for those of you who are clear-minded, you will actually see column two times column four should give you column three. 係咪啊？我俾咗兩行唔關事你。第二同第四行乘埋，應該等於第三行噶。It should be the same, right? 好嘛 ？Now we know factory B has a lower productivity, or factory A has a higher productivity. Okay, so the only possible answer will be B here. The B 係啱啫，好嘛？好啦，唔解啦呢個。好啦，嗱 ，next one. Now suppose the government cancels the examination for a、uh, for overseas doctor. Okay. For、uh, overseas to come to Hong Kong, okay, allowing to practice in Hong Kong without a lot of restriction, okay, this would increase, obviously, increase overseas doctors' mobility. But what kind of mobility? Since they are moving, am I? They are moving from overseas 
to Hong Kong. This is moving a geographical location. We are talking about geographical mobility for overseas doctor. Okay, how about occupational occupational mobility? We are talking about moving from jobs to jobs. They haven't changed jobs. They are still doctors, only practice in different places. Okay, how about the second one? Okay, seven nine. Asanok ah, okay. Used to have over one hundred branches. Now, however, as it expanded, it found that its cost has risen too much. Hola, Fong Chen Gong Seng. Now we know we are talking about economies of scale, those kind of thing, right? And decided to close down. Now this illustrate now obviously absolute disadvantage. No, this is chapter twenty four. Uh, trade 23, right? Um, uh, when we talk about international trade, the law of diminishing marginal return, DML, talks about marginal product, not about cost, right? So the only thing left is that we know this is at these economies of scale. The problem is, well, are we talking about external or internal? Now, remember, when we talk about external economy, at uh, these economies of scale, we are talking about uh, industry wise. Versus internal, we are talking about within the firm itself. Now the whole questions only talks about this store, right? Seven five nine store. 就系讲七五九啫嘛，系嘛？佢就系讲七五九啫，冇讲其他嘢嘛，系嘛 ？So here we are talking about an internal this economies of scale. Answer would be C here. Okay, just like that, how much we have no clue about the whole industry. Okay, how much? Hold up. Now, this one. Now, this is the question that I do not like, honestly, right? But unfortunately, if DSE is trying to trick you, okay, it's going to be under such way. How much do I come trick you? Okay, now let's see. Now, the following table shows the drop in output. When certain amounts of workers are absent from from A, 即系乜嘢意思啊 ？Now think, think, right? There are five workers in total when no one is absent. Think about it. What does that mean? When there is one absent, we find that the drop in daily output is twenty. 即系嗰一个人 that one worker. How much can they give you? Can contribute is actually twenty. Hola, when there are two absentees in total, we find that the drop in daily output will be fifty. Hola, I know the first one gives me twenty. What about second one? Their margin product will be thirty, etc. Okay, hola, hola. So the DMR is illustrated after which unit worker is employed. Remember, after means the point at which it starts to a、uh, drop, right? So answer would be after third. Okay. Okay. Can you remember another word? Another word would be when. Okay, so la so in here, this is after the third. Hola, when we say when, when it needs to be actually dropping, that will be the fourth unit. Okay, after the third, when the fourth. Okay, 好嘛，就咁做啦。嗱呢个嗱 again, I do not like this way of uh, uh, making questions、uh, because I think this、uh, type of question is stupid. Honestly, right? But unfortunately, we are talking about examination. If they want to trick you, okay, they will try to trick you with a drop in daily output instead of increase in daily output. Okay, to me, this is absolutely stupid way of setting. 好啦，唔理啦，冇办法啦，好嘛，好啦，嗱 ，next question. Firm A is engaged in perfect competition with a profit maximizing output level at three units. Okay, with thirty. Dollar profit. 好啦，我哋知道啦，本身系咁多啦。Now with transportation costs for each unit of raw material increase. Now, if you remember, right? 系嘛 ？Transportation cost is a variable cost. 
好啦 ，variable cost increases. Now, what does that mean? It means that the profit will drop definitely. And at the same time, we know the quant profit max quantity drop as well. Okay, 好吗 ？So profit maximizing output would necessarily remain at three units. No. It may drop. La holam di ke. It may not drop, but it may drop as well. So necessarily no. Okay, may decrease to one unit. Or obviously the answer, right? May 系有机会啲嘅，好嘛 ？Profit may become more than or less than thirty. No, it must be less than thirty. 肯定低过三十。唔会多过三十嘅，冇可能嘅。OK， 好嘛 ？Answer would be。B in our case, 好嘛？你嗱，呢啲自己温書啦，唔講啦，好嘛？好啦，嗱 ，next one, which of the following is inconsistent with the law of demand? Okay, we are talking about the relative price version. Okay, now option A is actually inconsistent. 好啦 ，but option A, I'm being kind here. Why? Now, when an ad valorem tax, the percentage of price as a tax, right? People would buy more of high-end smartphone and buy fewer lower-end smartphone. Now here, this option is wrong in two ways. Okay, 不如解释一下啦，好吗 ？Now, first of all, remember at veteran tax, we are talking about percentage. So let's imagine originally there is a a ten dollar for lower quality and one hundred dollar for higher quality. Imagine, right? So originally, is a ten low equals to one high. This is the relative price. Now let's imagine there's an ad valorem tax of one percent, uh, ten percent. So it becomes eleven, one one zero for higher quality. What happens to the ratio? Still the same. The ratio remains unchanged. Therefore, the ratio of quantity. Should also remain unchanged. 系应该不变噶。Okay, so there is no such thing as buying more, uh, 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 as more high end, less low end. This is the first way. But even, 但系原来呢条重点唔系呢个位喎。我好人嘅啫。I'm kind to you. This question, even if I change it to lump sum tax, this is also wrong. Okay, 好嘛，发生咩事啦 ？When it is a lump sum tax, it means that both lower end and higher end smartphones should become more expensive. 原来最重要系呢个啊。Okay, both will become more expensive by the law of demand. The more expensive it is, okay, the lower the quantity purchased. Therefore, actually, people would buy less of higher end smartphone and buy less of lower end. 系两个都会买少咗。It's only that the higher end, the percentage drop in higher end, would not be as high as the percentage drop in lower end. 只系咁嘅意思啫。Okay, so the thing is. More of is impossible. 唔会冇理由加咗价翻嚟买多咗啊。No, this is inconsistent with the law of demand. Okay, 好嘛。So A, I'm being kind here. So even if I want to be more difficult, I will change it to lump sum tax. So I think most people would choose A. 系嘛？如果 lump sum tax， 好多人会拣 A 啦。啊，好多人会拣其他啦。系嘛 ？You may think A is correct, right? 好啦 ，B, C, D. During Lunar New Year holiday, people go to barber shop to have haircuts, despite prices being much higher. Now remember, in holiday, the thing is, the cost of going to barber shop would decrease, 好吗 Because you don't need to give up salary, 好吗 You don't need to give up salary. Now therefore, the demand will increase. Okay, 系成个 demand 升咗啊。Okay, so this is not inconsistent. It's actually an increase, a shift in demand. 
Okay, how much? Hold on. Fresh fruit, uh, fruits are sold at a much higher price in markets far away from farmland, farmland than nearer to farmlands. Think so, nah? How much? Remember, you you are farther, right? You are more further. Then you have a higher cost. Higher cost, higher price. Think so, yeah? How much? You are farther from our farmland. You have higher transportation cost. Therefore, higher price. 好正常嘅事啫，係咪啊 ？Total revenue to sellers decreases after an increase in prices. 嗱，呢個 elasticity. OK， 好嘛，唔理啦。The next one, it is given that when quality transacted of a good A increases, prices of good B would decrease. 好啦，我哋諗諗啦。Now we are talking about Q T Q of A increases. It lead to it leads to the price of B decreases, right? 好啦，咩情況之下會令佢 price 跌啊？嗱 ，think about it. It's either demand for B decreases or supply of B increases. Therefore, think about it. If quality of A increases, making the demand of B decreases. What is it? It would be a substitute. Okay, now this one would be a substitute relationship. If quality of A increases, making the supply of B increases, this will be a joint supply. A joint supply. When something has more, the other things will also increase in supply. Right? 好嘛 Now therefore, answer will be two and three, which is our C. Okay, come on. So this is the answer. All right, next one. Now derived demand. Now remember, what is a derived demand? We are talking about the demand for output would create a derived demand for factor. 係個 output 嘅 demand。會有會令到 factor 有個 derived demand. Okay, we must be in an output factor relationship. No other way round. 得唔得？一定要係 output factor 嘅，好嗎 ？So the only answer that can fall into output factor is that here medical service as an output, okay, would create a derived demand for Doctor, okay, 好唔好啊？一定要前面係嘛 ？Output 後面係 factor 啦。Okay, A is just the opposite. 倒轉咗 ，A 係倒轉咗 ，B 同 C 唔解係嘛 ？None of your business 係咪唔關事完全好嘛？好啦 ，Question seventeen here. As production cost of surgical masks decreases over time, okay, it is observed that the price and quantity have changed by twenty percent and five percent. 好啦，我哋先決定咗一樣嘢先。We know quantity changed by twenty percent, while pro、uh, oh actually no 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 actually price changed by twenty percent, quantity changed by five percent. We know by definition. We just talk about it, right? This is inelastic, 係嘛？因為個 percentage quantity 細啲啊嘛 ，so this is inelastic. Now the problem is inelastic. What demand and supply? Yeah, 講緊睇住 as production cost decreases over time, it means that the supply would increase. Remember when we talk about elasticity, we need to、uh, here. Elasticity, we are talking about of the same curve. 好啦 ，now there is a shift in supply, meaning the supply curve has changed. Is it the same supply curve? No. Therefore, we cannot conclude anything about the elasticity of supply. Therefore, in our case, we know it is demand. Being inelastic, 得唔得？只要邊個 shift 咗，你就唔能夠講邊條噶啦。OK， 好嘛 ？That's the way we do it. Alright, now next one. An effective minimum wage. OK， 好嘛 ？Minimum wage 啊。Remember what happens is that minimum wage 
effective minimum wage would make that would make the price or the wage increase, but at the same time, the quantity would decrease. I mean, quantity of worker employed would decrease, right? Let's see. Would lead necessarily lead to higher average wage wages received by workers. Yes, remember, average. This is our price. 肯定啊，一定高咗噶。The average wage must increase. 肯定噶。啊、uh, ，we are talking about workers. We are not counting those unemployed. Right? 系嘛 ？A 一定啱噶。Okay. Higher average wages received by workers. Right? What about B, C, and、uh, what about B and C? Right? B reduce income inequality. Now there are two forces at play. First, we know. Higher average wage, yes, this may reduce income inequality. But at the same time, remember, since Q decreases, there will be more unemployment, which would make income inequality worse. 即系一个会好咗，一个会差咗。Do you know whether it will become better or worse? No, indeterminate. Okay, 好嘛，好啦。Then C lead to lower total wages. No, total wage. P C Q D. Okay, you don't know what happens to the total wage unless you are given the elasticity. Okay, 好嘛 ，elasticity of demand more specifically. 好啦 ，Then next one. 咁啊啲唔解啦，好嘛。Now the following table shows the market situation. 唔该，小心啊。After the imposition. 係之後加左税啦 ，OK， 好嘛 ？Now therefore, let's try to construct the QS before the imposition of the tax， 好嘛？好啦，加税之前係會係咩樣啊 ？Let's see, right？ 好嘛 ？Now before the imposition of the tax， now think about it. After tax， you are willing to supply Ninety units at seven dollars with free unit tax, a、uh, free dollar tax, right? 好啦，如果唔需要啲三蚊税 ，then you should be willing to supply ninety at seven minus three, which would be four here. 系咪应该可以平三蚊就肯做啊 ？Okay, same goes here. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Now, therefore. We know by looking at the table above. We know before it should be five dollar, one hundred units, meaning total expenditure, okay, would be five hundred. What about after? After the tax, it would be six dollar, eighty units. Which means total expenditure would be four eighty. Okay, 好嘛 So answer would be D here. 好啦，我哋望埋 A B C 啦。Now total revenue to sellers net of tax has increased. No net of tax. 都几得人惊喎。If I impose a tax, somehow you earn more. Then you will make more. It doesn't make sense. 冇可能，冇嚟收税，你仲收多咗，冇可能噶，系咪啊 ？So A impossible, right? C tax revenue. Is this amount? No, remember, per unit tax three dollars. How many units are you selling? You are selling eighty units. Now, therefore, right, it will be two forty, 好嘛？二百四十个 unit 啫。Okay, 好嘛？ Now, B, consumer bears a larger portion of tax burden. 好啦， remember how do you calculate tax burden? Remember the per unit tax is three dollars. Now the increase in price, which would be the same as the consumer tax burden. Why three dollars? But the tax burden is how much? Equal to one dollar. It increased by one dollar. Now therefore, the tax burden is equal to one dollar. Increased by one dollar. Now therefore, we know the producer tax burden would be three dollar minus one dollar, which would be two dollar. Consumer, are they bearing a larger portion or smaller portion? Actually, smaller portion. Okay, 好嘛 B is also incorrect. 好啦 
Now, question 20, my advice, go back to your notes, okay, or textbook. Let's not waste time here. 嗱，呢個真係冇嘢好解，自己自己睇翻幅圖算啦，好嘛？唔解啦呢個。好啦 ，Question twenty one. Now the following table shows the market shares of mirrorless camera sold in Japan. Okay. Now you see, right? The market structure. Look at the first three brands: Sony, Canon, and Nikon. Right? Three of them already took up more than ninety percent. I think it is safe to say that there are a few dominant sellers in the market only. So, oligopoly, no problem. Right? Question 22. Here. According to economic analysis, we found that Sony, why they delay all their camera? Because they want to make PS5. Because they, they found that PS5 is actually way more profitable, 10 times more profitable than selling of camera. So this would represent the allocated functional price. Because Sony, we are talking about the seller, right? Allocated function about the selling side, producing side, right? Allocated function. Since Resources are being allocated to the production of more profitable products. Some are reallocation to the more profitable ones. Some are now therefore D would be the answer we want. Okay, 好嘛？ D 就我哋想要嘅答案啦。好啦，嗱 ，final two questions before we end this video, right? Which the following about economic effect? Actually, let's go to twenty four first. Okay, twenty three is a difficult one. Now, which of the following are likely sources of income inequality? Difference in age, difference in health condition, difference in location. All of them. All of them. Now, question 23 is the difficult one, actually. Okay? Now, which of the following is correct? When it is achieved, it is impossible to increase total social surplus without an increase in demand and or supply. Yes, this is the standard definition. You know, A 呢个就啱啦。Now, but I want you to compare A to C. Both consumer surplus and producer surplus are maximized when efficiency is achieved. How come this is wrong? Let me give you one example. Think of the situation of subsidy. What happens to subsidy? When there is a subsidy, both CS and PS increases. But they have to sell CS PS. So is it maximized? In, in the original situation, is it maximized? No. So they gave you that. The wording you use for efficiency, it should be total social surplus being maximized, not Consumer surplus and producer surplus. No, my thing is CS on PS. Because in the case of subsidy, you can actually make CS and PS increase and still result in inefficiency. So please make sure when you study, remember this. In the market economy, efficiency is always attainable through market force. No. What about externality? No externality, right? There may be some externality. Okay, how much? Now, with that said, that will be the microeconomics part of our uh, uh, mock examination. So, in the next video, I will uh, I will talks about I'll, I'll talk about the uh, macroeconomics question, and then the. Further video, we talk about section uh, section A and section B in our paper too. All right, see you again in our next video.